good morning. This is Faith at Faith and Books. I'm going to do a very quick video on uh, a favorite children's illustrator um, that I was reminded of this morning because today is the feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe. And so I got this book out to read to the four-year-old before he went to preschool. And that made me think about Tommy DePaolo. Uh, he is a children's illustrator that... Um, there's Juan Diego seeing the apparition of, of Mary, Our Lady of Guadalupe, as an Aztec uh, woman, or girl, really. Um, anyway, she, he's a real favorite, and I just thought I would do a real quick um, video to show you a, a few of the books I have by him. So that's Our Lady of Guadalupe. Um, he wrote several other, I mean, I don't have them all. Um, but he wrote other, lots of other um, illust uh, picture books that have Catholic themes to them. This is the one, I couldn't find this when I was looking for all my um, picture books on St. Francis of Assisi, but this is his uh, Francis Poor Man of Assisi by Tommy DePaolo. Let's see, there we go. He has wonderful illustrations. Um, he did a lot of Christmas themed ones. Here's the Legend of the Poinsettia. Poin Poinsettia. I think I say it wrong. Anyway, there's some of his. This is also set in Mexico. Um, he did a couple other ones that I have. He's got many, um, but this one is a nice one, Christmas one. Uh, the Friendly Beast. There you go. Uh, here's one of the an early American Christmas. This is a little bit of a departure for him. He's usually in either Italy or uh, Mexico. This one's early, early America, uh, and all their traditions. Uh, and then this one is a really nice one, the Parables of Jesus. So this is the the text of this is basically taken right from uh, the Gospels. The weeds and the wheat, and then he does these gorgeous illustrations. And then he's got one Mary, the mother of Jesus. And let's see, here we go the presentation of Jesus, the temple. Anyway, he's a wonderful uh, children's writer, and he did um, the Stregonona books, which are very popular, they're set in Italy. Um, oh, I, I have more of his too. I don't, or maybe I got them out of the library or somehow I'm, I don't have all the books that I've ever had by Tommy DiPaolo. But, um, it made me think though of something called, uh, a podcast called Read Aloud Revival, which was started by a woman named Sarah McKenzie. And it sort of comes out of the homeschooling world, but she's you know, anybody who likes to read aloud is going to enjoy uh, what she has to say. And she started these podcasts and she actually interviewed Tommy DePaolo. Um, so I will put that link below if you're interested. Uh, it's just a very uplifting um, exploration of reading aloud um, to children and as a family activity. Um, how educational and, and bonding and, and activity is. Now, I am not somebody who listens to a lot of podcasts. I don't know how people fit it in, because I guess I, because I don't have a long commute, and I'd rather listen to an actual book, maybe, if I do have a chance. Um, so I'm not a big podcast listener. Uh, occasionally, I'll listen while I'm, you know, if I'm working in the kitchen or something like that. But anyway, but I know that uh, Sarah McKenzie's Read Aloud Revival is a really popular podcast and anybody who has grandchildren or children that they like to read to uh, you might be really interested in that anyway so that is my quick video for today um happy uh feast of our lady of guadalupe bye